Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In this video, I'm going to discuss a real-time scenario where I faced an issue. So let's see how to solve it. Okay, it's a very simple actually. So here we can say like we have a kind of drop down, and we can of course select like playwright, Cypress, or WebDriver, or even we can do search and we can do the click right. It seems like very easy, but it is not easy. Okay, I'll tell you two things about this. Okay, one is first how we can handle this effectively, kind of like writing a dynamic uh, method. And another one is let's go and inspect this one okay so we already discussed about how to handle drop downs in playwright uh, with the help of select options right so that's going to be very easy so here you can see like once i go and inspect this guys this particular options you can see like this is basically within the ul tag uh, unordered list and then we have list and within that we have a tag and within that we have span tag and there is the text right so this is not the select option that particular functions we cannot use directly okay however if you go and search for like double slash select that means uh the drop down tag right so here you can select we are able to get that and if i expand that you can see like there is also options so i have playwright cypress and everything right so you might be thinking like okay we since uh this might be manipulated in the dom but we have a select uh tag and also we have the option so definitely we can use it right but that is not the case actually so here I have a very simple script like I'm going to that particular URL the local code in my machine and dot select picker is the class name and then within that we have like select options and then we have label of playwright right now let's go and execute this one I already believe you know the concept of drop down and how to handle it with the help of playwright if not kindly check out my previous video I will leave a card in this video okay so here you can see like it's not getting selected the default value selenium that is what present there it's not getting selected and now we are going to end up with an exception it will say like uh, that particular drop down is not enabled okay i will tell you why this is happening come on fail 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 okay so here you can see like after the timeout it got placed and you are saying like uh, target closed but here if you go to their execution log here you can select element is not enabled and timeout happened and the script got failure okay uh why this is happening in the sense that there is a two properties like uh area hidden equal to true and area disabled equal to true if i remove this both these properties or uh technically attributes and then if i try to write the same run then if i try to run the same script in that scenario it should be normal drop down and it worked fine right so there is no issue in that okay and i have added wait for timeout and just to show you that it's getting selected or else we know it's insanely fast play right so it will close the browser that's why it is not needed but just to show you okay so but in real time usage like if you go with any of the uh, react application most of the time you can see like this properties will be there and we cannot handle the regular drop down with the help of this function like uh, select option okay so how to handle this and how to make it dynamically i will tell you now okay so i hope you understood the concept let's see how to handle this it's going to be very simple actually so first what we'll do we'll go and click on this particular element uh, this is the element filter option so i'm going to copy that and here i'll say like await um, page dot locator and then for by dot since it's a class name we have to use the dot operator and from there what i'm going to do is i'm going to find another locator uh, which is going to be so here you can see like if i go back to this guys options uh sorry uh, first of all i have to do the click action here right so i will do the click action here and then what i'll do i'll say like page dot locator and here we know that within this unordered list that is ul this drop down menu we are getting all the uh this options right so i'll copy the class and here i'll say like i want to focus on this first and then followed by again i want to find a new locator which is my li and uh yeah i think li is fine so let's go with the li and then also i'm going to say that li should has a locator called so page dot locator uh li should have what li should have a locator called a and a tag should also have a locator called span and followed by 
it should also has a text called playwright okay so i'm going to give the exact match here right so and then what we'll do we'll, we'll do just the click action right so that's fine and here of course since we are doing the click action we have to use the await okay so what does it means in the sense we'll first select uh, click on that drop down then we'll find the drop down menu and then followed by we'll find all the list within the list we know that there is a a tag and a span tag and followed by it should also have a text called playwright okay now let's try to execute and check let's it's working or not it should i know okay it got selected right awesome now the challenge here is let's say that in our ui uh, we have one more playwright test okay so we have like playwright test and playwright let me show you in the dom i'm going to refresh so here you can select we have playwright test and the playwright okay now if i run the script what should happen any guess since we have like has text we are expecting this to select the playwright but what will happen in the sense like it will throw us an error what is the error in the sense you can say you like a uh, strict mode violation that means we know that this locator guy is always always by uh, in default it's a strict that means if multiple elements are there it will fail the test right so that is what happening he here also so how to fix it simple way is using the uh, first dot first okay so from the element we'll try to find the first element okay but when i say first what will happen in this case in the sense it will go and select the playwright test because that is the first matching now you might say hey koshik instead of first you can go with the last so that will always select the last one which is correct and if i execute the same you can see that also it is going to select the playwright the last playwright text okay yeah it got selected and if i give the first uh probably it should select the first matching that is playwright test okay let us execute and check that as well okay great right but here is another challenge okay let's say that we have one more guy and this is like playwright let code okay now if i say first this will be get selected let me show you in the ui uh, yeah so if i say first it will get selected if i say last it will get selected but what i wanted is actually select the text with the playwright the middle one right so uh here also we have another option like get off right but it, but that is not showing here for some reason i'm not sure like from the parent to child we are not able to get it maybe i'm not sure about it but if you go and check this one right so this has text basically accepts a string and another one is the regular expression regex so how to fix it is basically with the help of regex so instead of saying like first or the last we can convert this into a regular expression so for example here i will say like i want to start exactly with the word called playwright and it should be like uh, this is like your uh, regular expressions so it is like it should exactly start from the p as a character and t as a character this is like ending and this caret symbol is basically like beginning and of course end up with slash g for your global search okay now if i try to execute this even though i have multiple matches it will try to find the exact match of playwright and then it will do the selection so here you can see this is how we can do okay so either we can go with the text or we can use the regular expressions and this is the way we have to handle the drop down uh, which is not a proper select option i mean we cannot use that okay because there will be something like area hidden equal to true area disabled equal to true okay so yeah and one more thing is yeah if you want to learn more about uh, regular expressions you can go to this particular site and you can just read it i will leave the link in the description and even in the code so you can go and read it out okay so yeah that's it writing this code and showing the demo is easy but finding the scenario and creating the uh, html stuff and so it takes little time 
So if you want to appreciate, just do let me know in the comments and give a thumbs up. Tata bye bye. Take care. See you in the next one very soon.